So last night, Zach Wheeler was really good. Reynaldo Lopez was really good. Tonight, we've got another good pitching matchup. Guys that know each other well, and Max Fried against Aaron Nola. Yeah, great matchup. Max Fried, uh, obviously, he's pitched a bunch of times against the Phillies, and the Phillies know him well. He's got a big opponent in Aaron Nola tonight, so no doubt he will be up for the challenge. And Max Fried's curveball and changeup have been great all season long. I suspect we'll see a bunch of those here tonight. Kyle Schwarber so far in this series 0 for 5 with five strikeouts. That's a thing of beauty right there with the breaking ball from Max Free. This is the curveball the slower of the two. I mentioned the curveball changeup have been really good and he gets Kyle Schwarber way out front. One down as Trey Turner comes up to the plate. Trey Turner on a couple of bounces to the new guy Gio Urshela makes the throw two away. Let kick in the three two. And a big ground ball to the right side to his left gloving from shallow right Merrifield and a running toss over to the bag in time to get Harper. That's a very nice play by Whit Merrifield and down go the Phillies one two three and if you're picking up from last night that's 20 in a row set down by Braves pitching Harris against Aaron Nola. Yeah, hard to believe it's a 36th start for Aaron Nola incredible versus Atlanta Braves. really incredible 36 starts ground ball softly left side Baum was shaded that way and just barely throws him out one out so Whit Merrifield got a triple directly down the right field line last night that he doubled directly down the left field line Merrifield on this one is stopped by Sosa but he beats it out hustling down the line it's a single for Whit. well Whit Merrifield now has three hits in the series against the Phillies here's Marcel Ozuna fly ball center field it's going back a ways but Rojas has it lined up and he makes the catch and I'll bring up Matt Olson and Nola the stretch with the pitch bouncer towards first Harper Fields on one hop steps on the bag sides retired one down for Nick Castellanos 2 2 cutter is a good one Castellanos is down on strikes Max Freed hoping for another one two three inning three one big bouncer to short take it on the second hop friendly bounce chest high Arcee has got it throws over to first base and that's another one two three inning for Max Freed. He has two of those in the ball game. So it's a lead off single. Here's Jared Kelnick. Bouncer right side. They'll at least get the lead runner. Good play by Turner to hang on to the bag. And Ramon Laureano coming up first scoring chance of the night for Atlanta here in a scoreless game. Breaking ball swing and a miss. He got a big strike out there of Luriano stranding a runner at second and that'll do it for the Braves will go to the third stock. It's time for a hit. What do you think. I think you're exactly right. Swung on and ripped up the middle. There's a base hit. Thank you very much. Weston Wilson who just continues to produce in the rare opportunities he has been given. Weston Wilson high point North Carolina native down at first base. And here's Edmundo Sosa. Urshela. Merrifield, Olsen, two away. And that's another good thing about Max Freed. He didn't get a ground ball with the best of them. And with two down, Rojas checks in. And the one-two pitch. Adios, amigo. Got him with a sinker. He goes down looking. Three strikeouts for Freed. We head to the bottom of the third inning. No score. There's a two-out walk to Merrifield. And that'll bring Marcelo Zuna to the plate, who hit one of the warning track in center field back in the first inning. And he laces that two seamer out into left field for a base hit. Yeah, it's really pick your poison right now because he is hitting everything. Ball four. And the bases are loaded with Sean Murphy coming up. The 0 2 check swing, little roller back to Nola. He's got it. Waits on Harper to arrive at the bag. He'll throw over, and that'll do it for the Braves threat here in the third. Three for his last 22 for Kyle. Left side base hit. That's a good job by Kyle Schwarber going the other way. Last time the Phillies had a man at first base, the next man hit into a 5 4 3 double play. Here's Trey Turner. That ball is fair to second for one. Oh, man. What did that one? Would have been just a sensational 5 4 3 double play. See if the Braves want to review it. Oh, they do. Wow. Those are three great plays. Urshela, then Mary built on the turn, and then Olsen on that scoop at first base. And then Olsen went down and got this one out of the dirt. Did he get it before the foot was on the bag? I believe he and did. Wow. 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 That is so close. I mean, I thought they had no chance of uh, turning that with Turner, quite honestly. 100%. The call in the field is overturning the runners out. Nice. Huh. That is such a a tough double play to turn. Credit Urshela. Again, the 2 2 pitch. And Harper is history there. Swings and misses on a curveball. Beautiful curve by Freed. Executed perfectly. Leadoff single for Kelnick. Arcia to the plate. 0 for 1 with a ground out. Orlando Arcia hits this deep to left field. At the wall. It is gone. Orlando Arcia later. 2 to nothing. Bravo. 
there's no doubt that uh, Arcia and the Phillies and RC and Harper have a history. So this is what happened after he hit the home run. Looks for Harper. Oh, very interesting. Got to do it in the postseason. Pitch on the way to Gio Urshela. Get, out. Get down. It will. There's his first hit in a Braves uniform. Gio Urshela with a one-out single. Here comes Philly killer with Merrifield pitch. Swing and a weekly hit ground ball to short. Turner scoops, throws on the run. It's in time and on the money. And that'll do it for the Braves. Real Muto at first. Wes Wilson stands in it. Grounded left side to Hopper. Urshela has it. Long throw across. Got him, and the inning is over. Billy's down 2 nothing, And it'll be the middle third of the order for the Braves here. Ozuna, Olsen, and Murphy coming up against Darren Nola. The 1 2 pitch on the way, and that's in there for a called third strike. Ozuna caught looking, and there's one away. The one two pitch strike three called got him looking that's four strikeouts for Nola boy has he put together a couple of great sequences against uh, two of their best hitters the right handers pitch swing and a miss struck him out he that does strike out the side Max Fried hard not to like that CJ the bounce back has been real in this one he has looked solid here all night he has been aggressive in the zone he has been efficient third time tonight the Phillies have had their leadoff man on Every time it's resulted in a double play ball. A tough guy to double up here in Johan Rojas. There's a liner out toward left field. Kelnick going back. It's over his head. A one hop off the wall. Sosa's to third. He'll hold up there. It's a double for Johan Rojas. And the Phillies have second and third with nobody out. Well, that'll bring up Kyle Schwarber. He's one for two tonight. And that one's back toward the middle. A run will come home. Arcia looks to third, throws to first. RBI for Schwarber. As Sosa crosses the plate, the Phillies are finally on the board here in the sixth inning. Infield in here for the Braves as Turner bats. Swung on, hit in the air, left field. Should be plenty deep enough. Kelnick over near the line. He's under it. He makes the catch. Rojas tagging. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. And we start over as the Phillies get two runs here in the inning against Max Freed, and it's a 2-2 ball game. Heard some booze last night for Bryce Harper. Same kind of serenade here tonight. Or shot up with a backhand. <laughs> He's fitting in quite nicely as Giovanni Urshela. And the 100th pitch is going to be the last one for Aaron Nola. Jeff Hoffman coming on in the sixth. The Phillies going to their bullpen. Jeff Hoffman takes over on the mound to face Gio Urshela. Two on, one out pitch. Swung on, ground ball right at Sosa. He's got it, flips to Turner. There's one on to first, double play. And Jeff Hoffman gets two for one. And Max Fried still out there. It's been a very encouraging evening for Max Fried. And a fly ball out towards deep left field. Jared Kelnick to the wall with urgency. Jared has room. Had his back to the wall and made the catch. Joe Jimenez will take over on the mound for the Braves here in the eighth. He'll face the bottom third of the Phillies order in a 2-2 ball game. Fly ball right field. Going back on it is Loriano. He's out near the track. It's over his head and it's off the wall. He plays it well. Wilson runs well. He's on his way to second. He's there sliding. Weston Wilson with his third double of the year. Now the Phillies have a runner in scoring position. Runner to third base. Here with one out in the eighth. Now it's up to Brandon Marsh to drive him in. Fly ball left center field. That's going to get the run home. Maybe a little bit more. Kel Nick is out there. He's on the track. Makes the catch. Tagging from third is Weston Wilson. Brad and Marsh comes through, and the Phillies take the lead, three to two. It's their first lead since the fourth inning of the final game against the Nationals. Mentioned this earlier for Bohm. He's reached base in 36 consecutive games. Now that streak being put to the test tonight. Luke Jackson's first pitch, a bounce to the third base. Urshela triggers to second. Merrifield fires to first and a double play. Well, that's worked well all night long. Carlos Estevez is going to try to come on and finish it off for the Phillies. Urshela gets the Braves in business now with one out. Winning run is at first base and back to the top of the order. Swing and a tapper left side charging his ball. He's got it throws on the run just in time to get Harris. What a play. And Alec Bohm comes up with a smoothly quick exchange and just gets Michael Harris a second. Both now in scoring position. You want some drama. How about Whit Merrifield, the guy that the Phillies let go 40 days ago at the plate. The 0-1 is shot the other way and knocking it down as Harper. He'll step on the bag and it's never easy, but the Phillies have won it 3-2 to two as Estevez is able to close the door with the tying run at third and the potential winning run at second base.